Welcome to the Weekly Reset, a series where we go over everything that's happened in the past week, all the items that we would like from the vault on each character, and our plans for this reset. So this is currently week six of season four. It's a bit late, a bit weird to start it right now, but let me explain. I haven't played since season two. It's been a while. I've come back to the game recently, a few weeks ago, and some things have changed. Gearin's quite, quite nice at the minute. Being this late into the expansion, I wasn't looking to get back into raiding, so I wanted to grind Mythic Plus. I wanted to get KSM, more important. Now, because I don't really have many friends that play anymore, I thought it'd be a challenge and I'd have to pug my way, which is fine. But playing a Havoc Demon Hunter, which has been my main since Legion, will prove very difficult because of the current meta. Now, unfortunately, people look at the meta and they want a specific class. Otherwise, it's a, a big no. Now, to anyone that knows me, you'll know that I love melee. I'm pretty much a melee-only type of guy. I do play other classes, but melee is, is my go-to. It's what I'm comfortable with. So I looked at what was relevant and what was meta, and Outlaw Rogue seemed to be quite high up there, along with Survival Hunter, but I've never really played much. So, well, I haven't played Survival since Wrath of the Lich King. I think we had mana back then. Damn. That was some time ago. So that was the choice I went with. I started with the Rogue, the plan was to get KSM on the Rogue and then dip into the Demon Hunter. Hopefully by then people will see that I've achieved a, a, de a decent enough rating. I'll carry on doing a few keys on the Rogue, but the main priority would then be to get the Demon Hunter up to KSM above gear. You know, that was the plan anyway. Now, as I said, I don't really have many friends that play the game anymore. I have a handful and they're, they're very helpful if I ask, but that's the problem. I don't like asking. I don't know if it's an anxiety thing, but as much as they will help me, I just, I, I struggle to, to whisper them and to ask. And I'm sure if I I, I did, I'm pretty sure that they'd, they'd help me. But it's just the way I am. However, I was lucky enough that when I was playing a couple of days in, after pugging some keys, they invited me to a group. So on one week, I had a lovely group of friends helping me and grinding keys, pretty much boosting my rogue through all of it. I think I did like uh, like a 17, a couple of 15s, and it really boosted my score to over 1k. I was able to upgrade some of my gear and it was going well. Week two. I don't know how it happened, actually. I don't know if I whispered him or he whispered me, but basically I, uh, I got in touch with someone that I used to raid with in Wrath of the Lich King. Like we go way back. We've met in real life a bunch of times. We're, we're good friends. I got invited to his Discord and his guild and a social raid. I got chatting. They're a really nice guild and they are really helpful. And not only did they bring me to their social raid and I got quite a bit out of that, but they took me on a bunch of 15s and, and even as high as like 18s. And we were type like plus two in 18s. Funny thing about these ones though is in the Mythic Plus at least, I was actually getting better with the Rogue at that point. I was doing some damage. I was kind of holding my own, but I, 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 was, I was still trying to compete with the tank. Not going to lie. So by the weekend of my second week of grinding on the Rogue, I achieved KSM. Two weeks. Completely boosted, of course. So the plan for the Rogue, obviously I'm not going to ditch the Rogue completely. It does way more damage than the Demon Hunter right now, if I play it properly. I'm going to do a few 15s. I'll get the Vault every week so we can keep this going. I can help the Guild and other people when and if they need it. But the main priority, the main focus is going to be the Demon Hunter. I've also got the Xerath Mortez Unity to, to unlock. That rep grind is fun. So yeah, the Rogue and the Demon Hunter. Let's go take a look at them. All right, so the Rogue. And we've got some bonus content for you guys this week because it is, in fact, TBC time walking. And I did those earlier. So I thought I'd leave that for now. I wouldn't hand it in. I'd make sure I was the right spec, of course. And then, yeah. Always make sure you're in the right spec before you click on any of this stuff. So... First of all, we're going to take a look at... Well, we'll take a look at the character, I guess. So, in terms of the character, gear-wise, we're not actually doing that bad. We're doing really good, actually. We've got a great weapon. I can't wait to, to upgrade all of this. The trinkets aren't great. Uh, I kind of like the the bike. The, uh, the remote guidance device. It's really good. And I'm trying to grind the two rings at the minute. Um, I haven't done all the research to see what is like, you know, this, but my gear's pretty good. I just need that unity because I think I have a really good belt. It's like 298 or something. Yeah, oh, 28, 291. Yeah, I've got some really good, really good items. 
that can can go in that place. So that will probably become... Oh, I don't even know, actually. Maybe we change when we get the unity, which may be like tomorrow, actually. Uh, I'd need to look on the Demon Hunter. But that can be changed to either a ring or a neck. Maybe even like hands or something. I, I really don't know at the minute, although hands are 304. But yeah, this is where we're currently sitting. We've got the legendary on our braces, which may or may not change. I'm, I'm not too sure. So the items that we are looking for, mm, honestly, uh, I'm not sure with the rogue. We're in a really good spot. Maybe a different weapon. Maybe we can get a second tool. I'm not sure if the vein rippers are, are really good on the rogue. I'll have to do some more research. Let's take a look at what we get from the time walkings for today. Welcome and hopefully, hopefully we get something good. I don't know, it's 278. That's probably not going to be anything special. 278, the majority of mine is over 278, right? Everything apart from the, the neck. I, I guarantee it gives me a belt. Dude, if it gives me a belt, I'm just going to ult it for. Well, that was disappointing, but I called it. Man, it's so bad. Uh, in terms of what we've done this week, like I mentioned, we did quite a bit. Um, the, the social raid that I got invited to, we did everything on um, Fated Heroic, which was really, really good. Uh, we, we've got we've got the token that we don't really know what to spend on yet. I'm saving it for now. Um, we we nearly we nearly got Savannah, and I think. Fate Scribe was apparently bugged, so we stopped it. So the first week, as I discussed, we were on... I, f I forget what they are because I'm terrible. My memory's so bad. Yeah, the rating, two, 2036. We haven't really done much since KSM. Uh, the first week, Fortified, uh, we managed... Okay, we went as high as 16. We got a bunch of 15s. Ugh, lower Car Don't talk to me about Karazhan. All those failed runs. But we got an upper, which we two times. So yeah, that was that was really good. We made a lot of progress, but the second week absolutely smashed it. An 18, a, a couple of 18s. But yeah, to everyone that helped, hopefully you guys are watching. Thank you so much. This last two weeks has been fun. It's been good to be back. Season four is is a big thumbs up to me. Let's go take a look at the vault. Let's go. We've got a lot of options. We've ticked a lot of boxes. Please be good. Please. Oh. 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 Ah. I don't... I think this is bad, right? While your health is above 50%, you are judged worthy, increasing your higher secondary stat by 155. While your health is below 50%, you are judged unworthy, decreasing your highest secondary stat. So it'd be like haste and stuff. By 50... 155. That's horrible. The neck. We did mention the neck. We we need an upgrade on the neck. But surely, surely we, we can't pass up one of these 304s. Finger. Ooh. Ooh. I was going to say, have I not got one of those already? I have. So I can upgrade that. That would be wasted. I just need the Valor and you can grind that easy enough. So the ring's probably a no. Uh, looking at the trink, this trinket. I already have it. So that's a no. This this is great so far. And then 304 chest. Well, this might be the first time since I've been back that we actually take the, the tokens at the bottom. I'm not sure yet. Uh, to be honest, though, it's probably the neck, right? 260 crit. Youch. I'm, I'm honestly unsure about the trinket right now. Let me just take a look. All right, so I've done some thinking. I've had a look around. I've looked at sub-creation. Nothing is really great. Nothing stands out. The choices are, and this is what I'm going to go with, it's either going to be the neck, the boots, or the tokens. But for now, I'm going to leave it, and we're going to take a look at the Demon Hunter. So before we jump into that, again, I'll talk about the character, the progression. But first of all, we'll get into Havoc. You gotta be in the right spec. 
Yeah, loot speckers, havoc, cool, that's what you want. So I did an LFR the other day and I got a couple of decent trinkets. It's fated LFR, so it's only 265. Higher than the normal one, of course. Um, in terms of weapons, uh, I was pretty lucky and and got one of these fist weapons the other day. I also have a vein ripper, but I do have tokens as well. I got one token. This week I'll have my second, I believe. Which means I'll probably be spending that on a higher vein ripper and then look at upgrading that later. Um, I'm halfway to getting the Mechagon rings, which is great. The haste is going to be absolutely huge. And I still have a blue helm. So maybe we get a helm. But if I'm going to be totally honest, I would I would much rather get like a, a massive juicy vein ripper or one of the trinkets. I can't remember the name. It's the best, like the absolute best trinket. Uh, of course, in terms of unity, we're going to swap that around. I should be... Yeah, so we've got less than 2,000 rep to grind on Enlighten. You need to get to Revered so you can get the pattern for Unity and then all of your characters have got it. So the trinket that I'm hoping for, as well as uh, a, a better Vein Ripper. Let me see where it is. I can't remember which one. Oh, it's Defense Matrix. I just recognized it. Oh, wait, was it there? Ah, there. Cache of the Acquired Treasures. Now, this is only 278, but I believe you can buy... Um, an item with the token to upgrade it so that's that's probably going to be the plan but if i can get it in the vault then that that's that's better i'm not gonna say no to that we haven't done the weekly which is what we're going to do on stream and by the way if you want to join me i stream a few days a week links will be in the description i chop and change it but at the minute it's monday wednesday friday around i don't know six gmt in the evening to about nine or ten depending on what i'm doing but yeah, apart from the weapons, maybe the head. We're grinding the ring, which should be easy. Uh, we've got our current rating sitting at just over 1,300. Uh, we, we didn't do too much last week. We've got some things to improve on this week. And next week should be the week that this character gets KSM. And with the new guild that I've uh, joined on my rogue on the alliance side, my demon hunter is going to be very happy. All right, let's open up the vault. And let's take a look. Fingers crossed. And yes, we are in Havoc spec. We are in Havoc. Alright, so we've got a chess piece. Which is a no. Another chess piece, which is definitely a no. Raid? Okay. So we can basically get anything we want there. We've got some shoulders. Which are 304. I can... Okay, that's that's... I mean, it's not what we wanted, but it's probably a better option. And then we've got some wrists with... Oh, wait. That has a use effect? Interesting. Fire a lead at an enemy that deals 15,000 nature damage over 8 seconds, as long as you remain within 20 yards of them. One minute cooldown. What? That's, that's just weird. I need to look this up. One sec. I mean, this may not be terrible, but... I play Demon Hunter for a reason. It's, it's very, like, minimalistic. There's not a lot of buttons. I'd like to keep it that way. So, honestly, I think I'm just going to go with the uh, the shoulders. Yeah, the shoulders will go into, I mean, it's a massive upgrade. There's nothing to look at, right, because we'll convert it into the set piece. So the stats will be exactly the same. I'll have crit haste. It will just be higher, which I'm very happy about. Because we, we don't want none of that mastery. That mastery is terrible. But if we look at where we've currently got our legendary slots, we'll take a look. Uh, there we go, uh, 298. So same story as the rogue. We've got an upgrade waiting. We just need that unity to shift it over. And then I think possibly, I mean, at the, at the minute, I think maybe like head as the unity. But we're probably looking at neck long term for the unity. I'm, I'm going to get a helm shortly, and I can't remember if it's the Rogue or the Demon Hunter, but the stats on it, are, like, for, for the tier set piece, are absolutely terrible. So, I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. But luckily, with the wrists, we, we haven't got, like, a, a decent option. We've just got, like, the Season 2 SOD wrists. We do want to upgrade the Vein Ripper, as I, as I mentioned. All right, we're doing it. We're going with the shoulders. Nice 304, we don't have to upgrade. Mass, massive, massive upgrade. Oh, 
Oh, we didn't look at the keys before, but this week we are picking up 17. It's going to be fortified, inspiring, grievous, gr grievous, grievous, and shrouded, of course. And our mythic key this week is a Grimrow Depot. I'm not sure what we got on the other character. Uh, no mythic key. Didn't check. Whoopsie. All right, let's quickly go convert those shoulders. And then we are good to go. I didn't even show it off, did I? The reason I wanted this so bad is obviously I've mentioned Demon Hunter. This being purple. I needed to get my hands on it, man. I've, I've never gone for KSM before, but the fact that this was purple and Demon Hunter's purple, I just needed to have it. Uh, flying into a wall while drinking cold coffee. Good times. Okay, so. Shoulders. Oh my goodness. Look at the upgrade, dudes. <laughs> ha ha. So we obviously want to be going for haste and verse. But then because of uh, how high the stats are and the set bonuses and stuff, crit is like very, very good as well. So yeah, these shoulders... Mm -mm -mm. Let's get rid of that dirty mastery. Get out of here, man. Let's slap these on. All right. 272. Two, and we're going up to... Ooh, two item level. Two item level upgrade. Look at those bad boys. 304 shoulders. Come on. Dilly's a happy boy right now. So that's the rogue and the demon hunter sorted. I still need to go back to the rogue. We didn't select the item yet, but we, we're going to hold off on that. We're going to do a couple of mythic pluses and maybe have a look at the gear. In terms of this week, for this week's reset, um, obviously going to do a few keys on the rogue. We're going to continue gearing them both up. The rogue does a lot more damage than the demon hunter, sadly. So when guys uh, require some help and more damage, I'm going to play the rogue. But I'm going to focus as much as I can on the demon hunter. We're going to get the KSM do as many 15s as possible this week next week hopefully we get it sorted and go from there and at some point i do want to dip into some tanking not only on the demon hunter but i've actually been enjoying every tank spec in the game other than guardian druid apart from that i hope you guys enjoyed if you have any feedback feel free to throw them in the comments and hopefully we get the next one out next week as well but yeah that's it from me let me know what you guys think of the series and i'll catch you next time Oh, wait. Dilly's a girl. Mistakes were made.